felt real when this was like a serious amount of money coming into the business each month. My name is Cody Birch. I work with online experts that run a course or a membership site and they help people with their experience and their expertise. So my current business, I have two memberships. One is a higher level mastermind. And in the mastermind, it's six month cohorts. We do in-person storytelling based events. I help them with their lead generation, their list building, their offer creation to make sure they can also run a laid back online business as well. And then support them with you know, ongoing coaching and support and accountability. Uh, and then I have a low ticket membership, which is, I think it's, the most fun thing I do. I thought I bet people would want to be a part of a membership that watched me build this business back from scratch. And so I started a low ticket membership, it's called The Blueprint, and they get a weekly private newsletter, a weekly private podcast, and then a members area where they can see behind the scenes of the business. So I first got into memberships when I hosted live events, and I would try to do everything I could to sell tickets to the live events. And the event went well, but I thought I really could use a community of people. So I'm not just going out to the masses and trying to sell event tickets. I started a membership and that was in 2019 that I launched the membership. So around to entrepreneurship, I knew I wanted to create recurring revenue as quickly as I could. And so the first move I did was sell high ticket VIP days where I could implement people's marketing strategies for them. And then I did enough of those. I did about 50 or 60 of those and realized a lot of the people had the same problem. And so I turned that into a mastermind where I could help uh, a group of people all at once and transition that experience into a recurring revenue model. And then the second piece of that was a few months later, that's when I started the low ticket membership, just on an experiment that people might want to pay an amount of money to watch me build this business back from scratch and they'd find it interesting because it might work, it might not work, but this game is so fun and so interesting. I thought people would want to do that. So now my recurring revenue is so stable because of the two memberships that I run that I don't need to mess with the VIP days as frequently or create a bunch of new offers every month. When the first member joined, it felt awesome. And I remember the exhilarating feeling of kind of doing the math. Okay, this many paid this amount, this many paid this amount. Seeing the payment notifications come in, it felt awesome. I took my founding member launch, which I did in August and two months later did a more traditional, bigger launch uh, in October, so just two months later. And so I had the momentum, I had the wins from the group, I had people making progress and saying nice things about me, and I was obsessed on their progress and their results, and turned that right into another traditional launch. So then that's when it really felt real, when this was like a serious amount of money coming into the business each month. It allowed me to make decisions more freely and uh, less due to possible revenues. I could just live off that recurring revenue and keep growing that over the time. Yeah, the reason I like memberships is it gave me a group of people that I could focus on and love on and serve so that they would make progress in their business and in their life, that they would experience the transformation that the membership provided. And then it became this snowball that kept growing and growing and growing. So then when I would launch a new product or I would launch a new mastermind, or I would host a new live event, or I would, even when I came back online after taking six months off last year, I had that amount of momentum. And the first group of people I reached out to was my former members of the three year membership and tell them what I was up to and what are they working on and what problems do they have. And it just gave us such a base of revenues and then a base also of case studies in the marketplace and real life examples where I didn't have to think, you know, I wonder what people are struggling with or I wonder what they, where they might be stuck. I wonder what they might really want in the next phase of their business. I had a base of customers I could go to, to, to know, to interview them, to talk with them and to create products that would serve them and help them keep going. Being part of Stu's membership community has meant the world to me. After I took my business offline for six months and then it abruptly ended, then I had to come back online. The first moves I made were because of Stu and because of the community, jumping on Q&A calls, chatting with members of his team, getting the clarity and the guidance and the vision from him on what he would do if he was in my situation, and then starting to put those plans into action. It caused my second round of entrepreneurship to come back online much quicker and with much more ease than I thought possible. And within a few months of coming back online, I was right back where I was. Memberships for me have created so much consistency of my thoughts, of what I want to create, who I want to serve, how I want to serve them, the amount of transformation I can consistently provide to groups of people while creating a base of recurring revenue for my business. So I'm always on the lookout for a way that any business can turn their existing, if they have a course, if they have a mastermind, if they have an events-based business, or if they've run summits or challenges or boot camps, there's a membership waiting in there for people to create that amount of consistency and momentum that can just grow over time.